Welcome to Wishlist, the art of social conscience. A series of talks, films and performances where artists use their creative platform to highlight social issues. For the first edition, we had the honor of welcoming none other than poet and author Linton Kwesi Johnson. He gave a poetry reading and a lecture about the life of late Jamaican performance poet Mikey Smith. His presentation also included a screening of the 1982 film Upon Westminster Bridge, a film about Michael Smith, directed by Anthony Wall. Good evening. I came to poetry through politics. It was in the Black Panther movement where I was a member that I discovered black literature. And it was a book called The Souls of Black Folk by W.E.B. Du Bois that really awakened something in me um, and made me want to articulate the experiences of the black youth of my generation growing up in a racially hostile environment in England. And I saw my poetry as a cultural weapon um, in the black liberation struggle. It was event of the year, and I wish I had been there when we run riot all over Brixton, when we mash up plenty police van, when we mash up the wicked one plan, when we mash up the swampy one. For what? To make the ruler them understand that we now take no more of them oppression. I, I certainly felt it was my responsibility um, when, I, when I began to write. Um, to deal with the, the black experience in Britain. I've had nasty letters, um, racist um, comments and all that. People have written some negative things about me in a national newspaper. But I wouldn't call that suffering, I call that validation. This is not about me really, this is about remembering <coughs> a very fine Jamaican poet by the name of Michael Smith. Mikey was essentially a political poet, a people's poet, who wrote about the dehumanization of the poor and their struggle against poverty and injustice. He wrote with conviction and performed with passion. I said, I can't believe it. Room them and rent me apply within, but as me going cockroach, rat and scorpion also come in. One good nose of a run. But me now go to a slump and high wall, I come for dumping me a face my reality. One little boy come blow a man, and me look on him with scan. I've no realized some of five boy pick me was a victim of the trick them called partisan politics, and my ban my belly and my ball. And my ban my belly and my ball. Lord, me can't believe it. Me say me can't believe it. Michael Smith is important to me because he was a great poet, one of the finest poets of his generation, of my generation, and he made a tremendous uh, contribution to Caribbean poetry, Caribbean literature. He wasn't around for very long, but while he was here, he left an indelible mark. The circumstances of his death have been shrouded in controversy. As far as I understand the facts, Mikey was attending a meeting in Stony Hill where the ruling Jamaica Labour Party's Minister of Education, Mavis Gilmore, was speaking. During her speech, he had heckled her. The following day, he was confronted by three party activists. An argument ensued, stones were thrown, and Mikey died from a blow to his head. His poetry continues to be taught in schools in Jamaica and at the University of the West Indies. Long may Mikey Smith be remembered as someone who made a significant contribution to Caribbean poetry.